Anyway, we are going to declare war again. Plus five. <laughs> it's rough, but um, let's see. Do we have a stab cost guy? Yeah, we're going to take stab cost guy. I'm going to get a claim here. I'm going to see what other big claims I can get. That 11 looks nice and tasty. Then we're going to declare war. Oh, that was also mothballed. I could have, I could have gotten a bunch of mothballed shit there. Hey, and some stability. Back up to fucking two stability. Let's go. Did he even get an army back? He's got forty-six k. Also, these cores have stopped, but I don't care. We can feed a bunch. If we get overextended, we can feed a bunch to certain as well. Have I got the Harambe discipline event? Have I or did I? I, I? I don't believe I... Oh, I did! Inspirational Leader! That's dope. Um, Until 35. Oh, man, that would be so nice to be able to use against, like, Sarasung. I think it's going to be gone by the time I manage to use it, though. Because you just know, if I attack Sarasung, 100% Nedim Raj, like, allies him that month. Is that AI brain dead? No, it's making troops. He's making troops. Okay. Can I ask my allies for help too? I could. Like, Yan Shen plus myself is 350k. I mean, Nadam Raj alone covers that. Greetings from Auckland. Hope it's fun to see me get murdered. Hey, fella. Um, no, I... I it's not... I, yeah, it kind of is. I'm, I'm glad you're such a good sport about it. That's dope. That's kind of nice. But also, it makes me feel bad for killing someone so nice. So, at the same time, like, fuck you for being nice. <laughs> they're going to Harstana. Oh, no, they're not. They're getting caught. Although, I do have a negative fucking two. And I rolled, like, trash in both phases so far. That's not much better. Imagine if I rolled a fucking decent dice. Oh, hey, look, it's another bad roll. Imagine what it- oh, we finally roll a nice dice, but they also, they also roll better than me. Disgusting. Van Raha's getting eaten now by Nadim Raj. He's just gonna go fucking ham. Can I politely go up to Adam Nadim Raj and ask him to respect your 1v1 pretty please? If I- if I 1v1 fucking Sarasang, I would get fucking spanked. That's just a fact. Plus, Sarasang's able to hire all of the Condottieri. He'd very much get of Dalkan's ad cannons and probably some Nadim Raj troops. I don't think I'd win that war. Anyway, as for this peace deal, I'm thinking I want the islands because I want some more uh, fucking boats, really. The ability to get a fleet would be pretty dope, not gonna lie. So, Keoden, our efforts to maximize trading profits in the area of Binrungen have borne fruit with the province of Keoden. Entrepreneurs have managed to greedily increase the output of jewelry and have found new markets in our capital for the processed goods. That's dope. Actually, will you peace out now? You won't give me all that. Rocklin still doesn't want peace. What the fuck? I've I like fully occupied his, his country. Man has he still has twenty seven K somewhere, probably on the islands. I mean I have the ticking war score. It will go to ninety nine. I don't want to take anything out. I suppose I could take that out. Fine. Alright. And I'm a 53, that's fine. Corridor. Oh no, look! I can select a naval doctrine for 40 ducats. <laughs> nice. There we go, we'll get all of these. Oh, we've got a reform available. A free admin policy. Or max absolutism. I'm gonna go with that free admin policy. Which means I can now have... Two construction costs. I should use that fucking core cost one. Uh, too late now. Um, I guess we can take one of the construction costs though now. Uh, I'm going to take that off and put the other construction cost one on. Now I've got double construction costs minus again and then build some of those. Lovely.
It didn't take nearly as much as I thought it would. The Raj has fallen. They're the re heirs to that. Oh, hello. They've moved their capital down here. Instacore, nice. Instacore in a 43 dev province. He's still not in Raj, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm tempted to truce break a Rocklin again. I think I think I need to wait until I've got my cores finished. Then I am tempted to truce, uh, yeah, to truce break. I really like ravaging your former lands. I just want to get this shit over and done with. I want to get it over and done with so that I can move on to uh, other things. You know, it's a lot of it is a lot of admin. But I am playing catch up. Then Iggy formed Rahanraj. That fucking color is disgusting. That's fucking rank. What a horrifically bad map color. Wow, holy shit. It's filth. Actual filth. Who are the great powers? Yeah, we can have a look at that. Um we're not far off when you're 400. But so just that reach, Mithridum, Ranraj, Rayuel, Dragon Dominion, Vanbury Guild, Vern. So yeah, I think we need to change our trade port. I think we pop it here. Pop you to level 3. Oh, sorry, level 2 even. I do want to upgrade the marketplace. So let's see. So up to 34, and this money hasn't been dragged out yet, so now we see I'm up to uh, yeah, now nah, that didn't work out at all Thousand has got way more power there than I do. He's got zero land in this fucking node. Zero. Well, that's just fucking wild. But yeah, my trade just fucking Got shafted there. Real bad. Don't really have a trade fleet just yet, but we're working on it. And this is Hujan. Hujan I do like as a culture in the convocation. Yeah, they are. The Paru are unhappy, but that's fine. Yeah, land attrition, native 10%. It's fucking dope. Banyaks, I have no idea what they are. Uh... We'll have to figure them out soon. Yeah, and then this is the power which need to be fixed as soon as their cores are done. As our influence over local trade has expanded, hell yeah it has, more and more merchants have moved into Asgard. One such trader, an elf named Karadir Rainswear from Arochlin, has begun to shift their power base from the port city into our own increasingly elven capital. They bring with them many connections in local trade, most of which are members of their own family, both elven and half-elven. It's clear that many sense a change coming on the horizon, the coming sunrise. Hell yeah. I mean, I've already got a 50% off trade efficiency guy. It's not, it's not the most useful thing ever. But hell yeah, whatever. It's fine. I'm so close to uh, that as well. Hey, I'll keep you. You're pretty good. That is a mission fulfilled. The Cresting Phoenix School is the culmination of a lifetime's work by Ameris, the greatest living elven martial artist. Its style demands and builds cooperation amongst its practitioners and will be well suited to our infantry. They weather attacks as one, waiting patiently for a chance at retaliation, then barely needing orders, striking back against the enemy in a unified, devastating assault. Our new model army will reflect the dream of a new Hales, one strong in its unity. So for 50 years I get some good shit. Nice. From the enduring dwarf-armed Hinfat to the Boars of Din, the Kai are the people used to strife, and after centuries of practice they've become quite apt at its execution. We must build the infrastructure to gather our levies from these lands and build them into a force worthy of the liberation of Halas. Get morale of armies, national manpower modifier. Let's go. The dwarves in their exodus spread the knowledge of gunpowder across the continent. It's only natural they are its masters. In the halls of Verkal Ozavar, the perfect place to manufacture a new type of artillery, one made by the hands of dwarves and potent enough to bring low the walls of even the most grand fortress. Get siegeability. And I get four cannons in Verkal Ozavar. Uh, here, 
I need 50 dev uh, manufacturing a workshop. What don't I have here? Uh, We've got the workshop. It must be, yeah, manufacturing. Let's build that. Got my trade up to 45 ducats now. That is indeed something. Nice. Well, that is the end of the session. I'm going to have to do some testing to um, to see how how my country fares. Uh, how I can maximize the amount of money that I make. How I can maximize my uh, my strength, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing pretty pretty well. Pretty fine. Uh, it'd be nice if Soldier Stout wasn't like constantly involved in wars all over the place. Because if he wasn't, if he was like at, like at peace the whole last time, um, then I I think like a Yanshin Sarasung, sorry Yanshin Asgara Soldier Stout versus Sarasung Rahanraj war could have been interesting. Um, but alas, it seems maybe not. But anyway, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will uh, I will see you. I would not be able to make these videos without the generous support of my patrons. If you'd like to help support the channel so I can keep making these, you can find a link to Patreon in the description below. Also a link to my Discord where these games are organized, as well as Twitch where I live stream these campaigns live every Thursday. Hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed this video.